the way I look at it is there's two standards that are out there. You have VP6 and Flash for the internet and you have H.264 that's being used by the broadcast industry. So H.264 plays in the broadcast industry, it plays in the DVD industry with Blu-ray and high definition. It plays in um, uh, mobile broadcast and from a company perspective we wanted to embrace it and expand our market that we can go after especially with our pending acquisition of Hantro it gives us the ability to bring in the other technologies and it's complementary to what we're doing and from our perspective we've always focused on quality versus bandwidth and uh, so we now look at where do you use which technology for what purpose? The broadcast industry is not going to change. They're, they're locked onto that technology and we want to be able to uh, play in that area. If you look at IPTV, IPTV really plays with the telcos, like the AT&T's and the Verizon's. That's their competitive play to the cable companies. And they've used H.264 as the standard in there as the, the mechanism for compressing video. Uh, with fiber, you have an ultimate amount of uh, bandwidth, so there really isn't an issue in terms of uh, uh, quality and compression. But when we look at another slice of IPTV, which is what I call Telco TV, which is putting television over copper, H.264 becomes uh, bandwidth constrained because the pipe is uh, constrained in bandwidth. So in that situation, we as on two, we look at that as an area where we can use our VP7 and our upcoming VP8 technologies to provide either more channels or more services to complement the H.264 offering. And then if you look at the Hantro or the pending Hantro acquisition, that gives us the ability to actually take our codec technology and embed it down to the device layer. So that means set-top boxes and other devices will actually be pre-enabled with the complete multi-format codecs and they can be used in whatever works best for the service providers. We're working with the device manufacturers, the chip companies, to make sure that all of the codecs are in the chips, such that when those chips get put into the set-top boxes and the set-top boxes are deployed in the marketplace, they're ready to play whatever format is required. So from a company perspective, we're really focusing on any video anywhere, you know, whether it's on your cell phone, whether it's on the PC, whether it's on the set-top box, on your PDAs or your Wi-Fi devices, we're really going after the, and addressing the explosion in video.